Good evening, and welcome to episode 68 of Read a True Diary. It's a little after 8 o'clock on July 29th, 2015. And, um, what was it? There's a few things I want to mention today. Um, so, I got a decent amount of sleep last night, which was nice. Today was the first time in a little while that I was able to wake up without an alarm and after I felt fully well rested and despite having a day off and being able to do anything I wanted because I didn't make plans. I wanted to leave it up in the air. I wanted a spontaneous day. And, uh, and that's exactly what I'm getting. And it's really a nice change for me. Um, I did have in mind to go to the beach, but I'm going to the beach for two of my days off next week. So I thought, well, I'd love to see a really nice sunset somewhere. And, uh, like I am now, in fact, well, actually, so, <clears throat> so, one of my usual spots, it's so hard to get it to record what I'm seeing, though, but just trust, as usual, it's a lot better in-person experience than it is, you know, recording. So, as I position that against a tree, okay. So, <clears throat> I Google different places in and around Philadelphia to watch a good sunset because I wanted to check out a new place. And I thought, okay, well, there are a lot of things I need to do at home and say, you know, through phone calls, emails, I'll take care of my business because um, today is pretty much honestly my only day off until next week and then next week I'll be so full because I do plan to go away from morning the morning of Tuesday until you know the night the evening of Wednesday and it won't give me much time to catch up on basics <clears throat> like cleaning laundry vacuuming sweeping you know all those things I really really did not feel like doing today not one part of me mm. In fact, it felt almost like a feeling comparable to depression, how much I did not want to do any of that on my day off and ache to be outside. However, since I have been spending time outside, I know I will again on my upcoming days off. Um, and, you know, I knew, you know, I'd make some time to at least come here, which is a park pretty close to my house, a five, ten minute drive. So, I resolved that I would take, I would be responsible and take advantage of the time that I had. And the best and one of the most surprising things that I forgot and remembered through doing this, through cleaning, and taking care of the things that I didn't want to do but were important to me to do, is how good it feels to have done what you do didn't want to do, but wanted to have done. It's it's so satisfying and gratifying. Because it's one thing to do something that you really do enjoy and love, and I, you know, I'm a big proponent for that. But when you don't really like it and it's hard, and you'd rather be doing a million other things, but this is important to you to do. And then you see the results of your hard work and how much they benefit you and possibly other people too. In this regard, this is true for me. The, the effects are huge. And um, yeah, I feel really good about that. And also this, okay, so one of the things, this, this all helped me to decide too that I am not going to make these videos every day for the next year but I am going to do them once a week. I'm thinking every Friday, because Fridays, um, 
whether I go out or not at some point during the day, I can make time to do this and I'm not a big going out on Friday night kind of person. So once school starts, um, I'll be working on Saturday and Sunday, but I won't have school, which is a huge priority to me once it does start. Um, I won't have that happening the very next day, so I won't feel like I'm doing something that's not as important as school in place of studying and doing the things important to me. I'll always have you know, Saturday as a day of just work, which is pretty, my working job is, I've been doing it long enough that it, it just comes naturally and I love it. So, so that's big news and it's a huge, I won't say weight, but it is a huge de-stressor off of my mind because as much as I enjoy sharing the different things that I have shared and things to come, it's a big difference to do, say, you know, only, I guess I would have about, I don't know, 40 something more episodes to do versus three, 200 and almost 300 more episodes to do. And I decided that Friday will be my last day because Friday is the end of the month, it's July 31st, as well as the second um, full moon in the month of July, and they call it a um, blue moon. And another one won't happen until the year 2013. And it's a rare event. I just feel that, you know, and that's the time of letting go. So it's a celebration with the full blue moon on one hand and it being the end of the month. And I just feel like it's a nice transition as I approach, you know, my final month before school starts, as well as with the, the final month before, pretty much before I moved. And I didn't think of it until today. Uh, well, say, you know, I, I will, the final month before I had that free time, then school, and then I'm gonna move. So this is, this is big. But today I realized that this is pretty much a countdown until I move since I started these videos at the end of May and I plan to move at the end of May next year. And so when I think of how many I have left in the weeks, 10 months left until I finish these and also uh, so that's about 40 weeks how interesting right because yeah if I do this once a week four weeks in a month usually about 40 more weeks 40 weeks until I move back to the Pacific Northwest that's exciting because all also all the things I still want to do in between then too which is um, finish my associates of science degree visit Florida, probably driving, which I've never done before driving to Florida during winter break, and possibly a trip to Europe again during my spring break of next year, all within the next 40 weeks, on top of going to the beach within this next month. I like getting an overview and perspective, and that's one other thing I did today. I recommend and love having a dry erase board that I use to you know, allow me to keep track of things. And um, then I like the dry erase board because it's, you know, more user-friendly and it's you know, not wasteful like paper. But I can you know, put my dates and notes of, you know, what I need to focus on, work on, and what to do. It helps me stay organized. And today I put the first day of school. And it's about, it's five week. There, there are blocks or cells. Um, where I could list things up to five weeks ahead of time and five in the first day of school September 2nd actually it's exactly five weeks from today and I'm a little nervous but more excited because also I realized when looking over my classes doing some things for school that I uh, well, on Monday Wednesday and Friday I finish by 11 11 I think 11 o'clock yeah 11.05 and I thought I was 8 a.m. to noon, Monday through Friday. So just finding out, you know, that little bit, uh, three hours of classes, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, they're intense, but that's just still, you know, it's so good because I'm not going to work uh, Monday through Thursday and I'll have plenty of time to study. So, um, yeah, that, uh, just trying to plan things, looking out after myself for the sake of being able to do well. And I haven't always been good at this, so, um, huge even the moving thing um, getting things together getting rid of certain things that you know I know I can give away or throw away 
and not be overwhelmed doing everything at the last minute. I've learned the hard way, doing things at the last minute and doing things half-assed. It's not so good. It doesn't really work so well. So, I just think there was one other thing. Just go ahead and mention that today. Today was a harder one when it came to my feelings of missing in the person who I am still in love with, even though, you know, I'm, I am letting go and feeling more in love and happy just on my own. There's still a lot to be said for things that come up, like songs I hear or even being here in this exact spot is the first place that we kissed and it is very sentimental to me still. And today was just one of those days where, oh yeah, I was, I started looking at some of, some apartments um, in and around Seattle and he lives not that far, I think like an hour away from Seattle. Yeah. And just that whole reality of being close to him and possibly still not with him. Um, yeah, it's just tough, but you know, emotions come and go as the things in life come and go. Oh, one other, that, that was the one last thing I wanted to mention. I watched, I listened while I was cleaning to a lecture by Carolyn Mace, and she mentioned time, about time being simultaneous all at once, that the linear concept of time is a human construct and not real. It's a reference point, but everything really exists now hard to wrap our minds around it. It is for me too. But in that, when I remember how important Eckhart Tolle says the power of now, it reminds me of my power to choose right now what I care to focus on, what I care to feed, what I care to do more than anything and most importantly, I choose for Feel love, love, and more love. For me, I think it's the best. I feel it's the best. I believe it is the best in everything. Thank you for watching and listening. May you have a wonderful time exploring inwardly and outwardly for yourself. I love you.